Alright, hello, welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and this is my Shapeco mod. Uh, basically, it's a complete list of mods that are shared in one place on Thingiverse. So, I got a Shapeco 2, and I'm really, um, I'm pretty okay with like 3D modeling and laser cutting. So, I decided to uh, make this safe. This is actually going to go in a classroom. So, what I needed to do was make it as safe as possible for. Uh, high school students to use. This means uh, hiding all the wires as much as possible, installing a, a safety switch in the back for an emergency stop. Uh, all the limit switches need to be in put in place except for the z-axis negative or the positive. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I did a pretty okay job. So what I did is I had this. This is a laser cut enclosure that goes around the ends. I use this fiber board. It's a really thin, it's about 1 8 inch thick, uh, high composite MDS. So it's it's pretty sweet. You can get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, just about anywhere. It's sold next to the pegboard, but it's, it's almost like pegboard without the holes. So that enclosure right there shared on Thingiverse as an AI file, Illustrator. And it holds uh, all the electronics, components, and fan. And the fan actually holds the, the exterior piece of plastic into place. So what I'll be doing here in a second is taking this apart and showing you how to put it back together. Because also there is inside here um, a custom G-Shield container. It holds your Arduino and G-Shield and is able to put it on after the fact. Like you can put your shape of code together and then you can put that on there. You don't have to build it while you're building it. Uh, the end stops are pretty sweet. So they're just cut acrylic with laser cutter. Allows you to, you know, I need to power it off so I can see. Bam, and they attach right here on the fiber board. Now, it's so much easier just to put it in place and drill a hole because that way you get it perfectly aligned with yours. So I could have that hole measured out, but it might be different on yours. So I left the holes out, so you're just going to have to drill um, wherever that hole is on the acrylic. So the acrylic already has the holes in it. You just have to plop it down, hold it, pull it up. Okay, so there's that one. And this one is the like of the other side. So they're universal. You just flip them over and bam, it becomes the other side. Then I got another one right here. So this is a clear acrylic that mounts on the side. And last but not least, there's a, a clear acrylic here. This could be mounted anywhere up and down. All it does is ride along inside this channel. So you can loosen the screw and put it up a little bit further. Uh, let's see here. There's actually inside here a terminal holder for the three terminals. I got that on Thingiverse, so I did not make that. I'll give you reference to it in case you want to use the same one. And then the custom acrylic cut with the open hardware symbol in it. I just spray painted these. Not sure, I don't like it. I, I like the finish okay, but really it's kind of rough. The only reason I use this material is because it's very lightweight. Oh, and the emergency stop holder in the back. So let me uh, try to disassemble this. I'll put the camera on a tripod so I can show you how to put this end together. And by knowing how to put this end together, this one just becomes apparent to how this one goes together. Because this one's way more complex than that one. All right. This is... Uh, from Thingiverse 2. So I'll give you access to that. It actually holds a Sharpie so you can kind of test it out. And underneath I mounted LEDs 
just for show. I like how it has the blue shadow. Alright, so let's go on. Okay, so you first start out by these screws. I believe these are six thirty seconds. You can also use three millimeters. And I would say roughly I didn't measure it out as far as like how how tall they are. And these are actually a little too tall. They stick out quite far. But I find it kind of easy to take the unit on and off because they stick out so far. Alright, so you get your piece of acrylic right here. This is just kind of like your your washer on the outside. You got this piece is your spacer. And in here we have the actual unit. So what happens is once those once those screws come off, this this snaps off. I'm going to stop that fan. I have this uh, power supply just for the fan itself. Alright, so I'm going to have to stop this just for a second. I'll continue on. Hold on. Alright, now that I have enough space, let's go on. Alright, we got this, the fan unit, and it holds the fan into place. You can actually take the fan off at this point if you wanted to. Uh, and then you can dig your way in there. But this is the nicest part of it. So it contains those uh, slip in posts. And this is kind of a hinge in this area. So you could take this post out like that, this post out. And you got one at the bottom. And these are just pieces of PLA. These are a PLA spike. And they just slide in there. And that allows you to get in here to your electronics okay so you can see on the back side of this all I've done is mounted the screws with washers and then a nut on the other side long enough so it goes through the fan alright now you can see that the unit mounts right here one two three four uh, so two on this side, two on the other side. So then, after you mount this unit in there, you can then put your earmuff on. And that attaches to this screw here, and there's a screw up here. These are two of the only screws that you can get a hold of after you get your shape of coat together. <laughs> other than that, most of the screws are um, hard to get to because of the rail. So I've chosen to mount it on easy to access screws from the, the on the top and bottom. Alright, other than that, that's that side. And here's I gotta show you one more thing on the other side so you understand it fully. So what holds on the plexiglass on the other side, right? That's what you're gonna ask. And that's these L brackets. So you just put the L bracket in there. The, uh, the holes for the L brackets are already in there. You just have to 3D print the L brackets. And there's L bracket there, there, and on the other side. I just use three millimeter screws. Um, standard hex head. Okay. So hopefully that gives you an understanding on how this thing's put together. Uh, it is very tidy and safe, I would say, but see anything that I don't? All the limit switches are hooked up on there. Cool. Ready to rock and roll with it. I have fired it up, it works out quite well, but I hope you enjoy the Shapeco mods. And they're on Thingiverse. Thingiverse.com if you want. Enjoy. Just before I go, uh, in case you're not familiar with laser cut, or if you're if you kind of want a little bit of direction on how to put the end together, here's my prototype. So I prototype everything on a cardboard first. It's a quick material. 
and you can see how it goes together. What I did is I put all the sides up and I used masking tape to tape it together and then I put wood glue on the inside and then glued it together and let it set and then it became good. With cardboard all I did was I put hot melt glue in there. So this is just the prototype. It's not the original. That's not this material here. This material is higher density. It's uh, this board actually. So let me show you this. So there it is. All its glory. Good stuff. It's easy to paint. You cannot sand it at all. I mean, if you sand it, it's going to have fibrous. You can see where it's got some flaws in the outer area, but yeah, don't sand it. You could try it, but real fine sandpaper if you do it. Alright, so I just wanted to share with that, that just before I go, and enjoy again.